Tough day in Columbia, South Carolina as the Northwestern Wildcats take two or three and win the rubber match here on Sunday, four to three over the Gamecocks. Coach Tanner, really, really a great ball game. If, if you watched it all nine innings, we saw a lot of great pitching, a lot of great defense, and tip your cap to Northwestern, a job well done, coming into Columbia and taking two out of three from well, South I Carolina. Agree, I agree with you. you got to give Northwestern credit. They came in, they played poised. They made a few mistakes at times, but one thing that stands out to me is their bullpen, their starters, their ability to throw change-ups for strikes. we got some pretty good hitters in our Gamecock lineup, and they were able to neutralize us and did a really good job. They got some good pitching at the end. We walked some guys in an untimely situation. Yeah, again, great series win for Northwestern, a team that I think will be really, really fun to watch the rest of the season in the Big Ten. Let's check out some action from the game today in the seventh inning. We saw one of the most wild plays ever, Coach Tanner. <laughs> Don't even know how to describe it as a. Well, it's a it's an appeal <laughs> play at first base. It's not a force out. So the call was right. The umpires got it right. I just never have seen that happen before, but it was the right call. The run should have counted. Big base hit here and a great throw by the left fielder to get the go ahead run and he's thrown out at home plate. Really, really good play there, and Kobe Moe was special. Well, Kobe Moe did it on Friday night. I mean, it, there was a reason they won that game on Friday. He did it again today, although he didn't get the final out. That shows you how much Kobe Moe means to this Northwestern team. Yeah, coming as a freshman, huge. Did you see a walk there that ended up being the game-winning run? Graham Lawson was pitching for the Gamecocks, and the Gamecocks down to their final out, and Dallas Beaver flies or pops up to shortstop to end the game. Beaver ran that count. He was 0-2, and he ran that count to 3-2, but Pagliari made a pitch to get the final out. Gamecocks again lose it 4-3 for Ray Tanner. I am Kip Balknight. We'll see you on Tuesday when the Gamecocks are back in action against North Florida.